Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to name the gases in the atmosphere today and state the proportions of each gas. You should then be able to explain how the early atmosphere changed into the atmosphere now. So we're going to start by looking at the gases present in the atmosphere today and you do need to learn these. Around 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen and around 21% is oxygen. There are also small proportions of other gases such as carbon dioxide, water vapour and noble gases such as argon. The gases in the atmosphere have stayed pretty constant for around 200 million years, but before that there were huge changes and we're going to look at those now. The Earth is around 4,600 million years old and that means that scientists cannot be certain about the early atmosphere. Scientists think that during the first billion years there was intense volcanic activity. These volcanoes released the gases that formed the atmosphere and one of these gases was water vapour. As the earth cooled, the water vapour condensed to form the oceans. Volcanoes also released huge amounts of carbon dioxide. So in this early stage, the earth's atmosphere consisted mainly of carbon dioxide with little or no oxygen. So that means that the Earth's atmosphere then was very much like the atmospheres of Mars and Venus today. Now I should point out that volcanoes also released other gases. These include nitrogen which gradually built up in the atmosphere. Volcanoes also released small amounts of methane and ammonia. So again looking at the early atmosphere we can see that it consisted mainly of carbon dioxide with small but increasing amounts of nitrogen. Now apart from the level of nitrogen there are two other obvious differences between the early atmosphere and the atmosphere today. Firstly the early atmosphere contained large amounts of carbon dioxide but the atmosphere today only contains a small amount. And secondly the early atmosphere contained very little oxygen whereas today 21% of the atmosphere is oxygen. So let's look at how those changes happened. Now as we said before the water vapour from volcanoes condensed to form the oceans. At this stage some of the carbon dioxide dissolved in the oceans to form a weak acid. This reacted with minerals in the sea to form precipitates and over time this formed sediments of carbonate rock on the seabed. Some of the carbon dioxide in the sea was used to make corals and shells of organisms such as mussels. When these died they formed the sedimentary rock limestone. So this also removed carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So as we can see the level of carbon dioxide in the early atmosphere began to fall. But where did the oxygen come from? Well around 2.7 billion years ago photosynthetic algae first evolved in the oceans. Photosynthesis produced oxygen which entered the atmosphere. Over the following billion years plants evolved and this increased the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere. At some point the level of oxygen reached the point where animals could evolve. I'm showing you the equation of photosynthesis here. As you can see as well as producing oxygen, photosynthesis also takes in carbon dioxide. The carbon can then be trapped in fossil fuels and again that caused the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere to fall and we'll be looking at how fossil fuels are formed in the next video. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the atmosphere in my Vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.